Hi there, this is Storm and this is my tutorial 8. In this tutorial I will show you uh, uh, yeah, what I'm uh, planning out at the moment. If you see here on the left uh, top side uh, you see that I'm level 19 and I want to level up a little bit uh, faster and that's uh, yeah, what I want to do with uh, big uh, fishes that I want to catch. Now, I have only one problem, and the problem is if I go to equipment, my equipment. <coughs> um, there you see in other, my fishing net, and my fishing net can only catch 35 kilograms. If I go to the store, the next one that I'm going to buy is the level 20, and the level 20 can hold up. 400 kilograms. The fish I want to buy, uh, catch uh, are a huge uh, catfish. Problem is with huge catfish that they will reel in very slowly. So um, I'm planning to do that on the level 10 map on a spot where I can uh, do some things to catch it easier. And I'm also using the sonar. If you go to my equipment, I'm using the sonar. This one. Ah, kijk. A real, that's real good. I can finally repair it. I didn't know that it was uh, an option. So they made it available. You can repair the the, the sonar. It's not so much because uh, early on you couldn't repair, repair it. This is the sonar, the, the, the most expensive one. It gives you an uh, option to detect fish, shows the weight of the fish and shows the type of the fish. Because I'm using the sonar to find a specific uh, catfish, uh, I'm hoping to find the ones who can, uh, yeah, put in the, uh, the the fish nets. But if they are a little bit uh, bigger, I'm also trying to catch them because they give a good amount of experience. And then I just had to have to throw them back. So um, I'm just preparing some things that I've uh, used. Uh, floats. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I'm using the lure that I'm using are to catch them. This one is uh, called the Sakura Schoon Slim. And you find it in store, of course. And I'm also using this one. It's called the Rubfish Twister, the black size. So these two are available from uh, very soon in the levels but I assume if at least you have to be level 10 so you can buy them easily okay we go now to the the map and I'll show you the spots where I'm going to do that all the things just go to enchanted rivers find an empty room click on play and I also will show you a little tip uh, for easier uh, using the sonar because for using the sonar you have to to see uh, where the fish is hiding with the rimples in the water circles in the water and at night uh, you can't find them very easily now at the moment uh, I assume that you have a little spare money and I will show you when you are on the map you can change the time for uh, to make it uh, for a, a daytime and it only costs uh, about 450, uh, 40 or 50 coins. It's not so much because the, catch, uh, the fish you catch um, will be around uh, 1000 coins. So, but in the end, it, this is a good time. You see here already rimples in the water. Uh, I first, first always lower down the percentage of 100 to 90. Always do that. And because we are using lures also lower down the inner circle with the page down button six times okay this is the line is ready I have already set here on the left side the this lure put it up and what I want to show you now is of course the map the map is opening up and you see here on the left side the top left side that I'm holding here uh, at this bridge that I'm, uh, the yellow arrow this is where I'm uh, uh, holding up now and if you 
look around, I have put up the tent. The tent you put down with the T, the light you turn on with the L, and because if you you see on my rods, I can still turn on the lights. Um, yes, what I'm going to do now, I'm standing here on the edge of the water. This is the bridge, this is the water. Okay, hold down the control button, go down on the right side to my sonar. Yes, hold the control button down and just click on the water. So then you can hold, yeah, lose the control button to uh, turn around. But if you want to check for fish, always hold the control button down and then click on the water where you want to check. So if I see now catfish, and I hopefully, uh, you see that I see circles, okay, yes, oh. just be patient a little bit. Uh, what I'm hoping is that I'm seeing catfish lower of uh, 35 kilograms. Those are the ones that I want to catch. You see them here around uh, maybe also 50 kilograms. Those uh, are very difficult to uh, reel in because of the equipment we have now. Always try here on the left side to use the best uh, line. I'm using this line, it's on the right side, the 28 millimeters, and it can bring a reel in 5 kilograms. You have also this one, it's called Sakura Inoa 0. Six. It's also uh, using uh, five kilograms. Uh, I'm not sure which one is better, but I just uh, have this one. So, because the better the the line, the easier it is to reel in the fish. There was a big fish, and also this rod that I'm using is the. The catfish rod this can be catch uh, really in uh, more than uh, 80 uh, kilograms, so it's the best rod in, in game for the catfish at the moment. Okay, what I'm going to do is walk a little bit here to the point. Yes, here, because I found out that there are better options too see the right catfish here they are here i know for sure just be patient yes this one this is a good one 33 kilograms so if i just go there and hold it there i i, I can there if i catch this one it can be put in my uh, fishing net and i can sell it right away because Every time you catch one fish, you have to sell it right away because the fishing net is totally filled up. Okay, if I see it right now, then I will right away cast my line. Then you're really using the sonar. I just put it up a little bit above the the line you see the line where I want to cast just a little, little bit above where I'm scanning so it will be reeled in through the place where the, the specific fish is holding up just want to find it again this one it must be around it will not be far away I hope You see here the lower down the sonar with my using, but it's no problem because I found out that they can be repaired very cheap, so that's good. Now, where are you holding up? You see it? Just cast quick there, over it, and reel in through the spot where the sonar is scanning. I 
I can try of course to already uh, reel in but I want to be sure that's why I'm using the sonar but the catfish is not showing itself, itself again it's Where are you? And it's very important to catch on the specific catfish because there are bigger ones and you don't want to have them on your line. You can catch every catfish here but it takes a long time. You also see the, the one that I want to catch is also using a long time if I have it on my line. My lure. This fish is here doing hide and seek. I can't see it now at the moment. Okay, I just try to uh, do a, a couple of strikes, a couple of reeling ins. So I just do it above where I was. So just try to find it using reeling in. But this is not the best solution for it. You, do, you just have to be sure that you're throwing to the right catfish. Okay, this is not a catfish. You see your right side below. This is, this is a perch. So we let in fast. Page up all the way to full power. This is our not so kind friend, the perch, who is taking my attention. Okay, bye bye, give you freedom again. Okay, face down six times. I'm just trying to use the sonar again because that's the best solution. I was uh, waiting too long before casting when I saw it <laughs> I thought it would be around still normally they stick around the catfish where I'm really using the sonar and they uh, go away out of this screen and then pop up again so they, they are swimming from right to left for example and they, they come back here from the left side to the right but this uh, this catfish that I want to find is uh, swimming a little bit farther than I want. You see this is a 50 kilograms catfish, I don't want to catch that. I want to catch the one that, I'm, that I saw earlier. So Later, if I'm level 20 and I'm having the, 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 the net for the 100 kilograms, then I want to catch it 50 kilograms because if you catch them, it will take a long time, but it gave a huge amount of experience and of course, when you're selling, a huge amount of uh, coins. And then you can almost get two of them in the live net. But at the moment, it's... Yeah, okay, that's a good one. Okay. So, 26 kilograms, yes, try to catch it. Remember where you cast, it was swimming to the right a little bit. Now throw it afar, because the other bigger catfish is on top of that in the north, uh, I above it. Still difficult to catch one specific catfish.
because there are more around. And if you catch uh, a big one, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem because if you uh, reel it in, you get at least the experience. So you get the experience, and I uh, I want to go to uh, 20 fast, of course. So if you go for every catfish and also the 50 kilograms ones, you have to throw them back. But they give a big. Uh, so oh, it's a big one. I'm not, I do not know which, uh, how big, because uh, at the moment uh, it, should, it could be 50 kilograms, it could be 26, because they behave the same on my line, on my uh, rods, on my, uh, yeah. So I can see if it's the biggest or is it uh, the one that I can get inside my live net. What I'm trying to do is to try to get the fish to the left to there to the rear uh, to the bridge <coughs> because at the this uh, fish is not reeling in very easily or I want them uh, want to go, let them go all the way to the other side of the water just close to the to the water line for, uh, where, where the land is or to be on the left side because the water on the left side you can walk through. And what, I'm, what I mean is, if you go to the water very slowly, you see on the bottom there are three waves. The three waves will fill up very slowly. If I step now a little bit further, it will fill up all the way, and I'm turning, returning back to my tent. Three lines is uh, too much. You uh, ah, you get all the way uh, below the water, then you will lose the fish. You will uh, lose the uh, uh, yeah, you lose the, the option to catch it. So don't go all in all the way. <coughs> but on the left side, a little bit further to the left, closer to the bridge, it sticks to two lines, two waves, and you can just walk through the water to the other side of the water. <coughs> and that way, if you if the fish is there, you just can walk to it, and you can yeah scoop it up with the landing net right away so I want to try to get it close to where I can do that or also on the other side or something else so I just try to fool the fish to do some yeah something that he get closer there where I want to have him he's just in the middle that's not the place where I want to have him. What you can do is, um, of course, I have to put up full strength. It's a page up. Um, ho uh, holding the right mouse button, uh, you see on the bottom uh, a red line. It is the breaking point of the, uh, the, uh, the line and rods, but uh, at, the, at this time the, the line, and uh, because the line is uh, very much more weaker than my rods. Uh, just uh, what I'm doing is pulling up, let go, pulling up, and make this line below here uh, available. Because the more I see in red, the more tired the fish get, and you see also the meters it, it will come closer just like uh, for example you you make the uh, fish more tired by make it uh, visible that red line every time you see I'm holding the right, uh, the right mouse button it will uh, show you a little bit red line and then it will go away just yeah you're pulling you're pulling the, the fish closer and closer just hold the left mouse button and click uh, hold the right mouse button when the, the red line is available. When the red line goes away, let go of the right mouse button. You see it's come closer and closer and closer. Okay. I think it's almost close enough. Just go in a little watch out for the water, yes. I just scoop it up and there it is very easily and this is the one that I wanted to catch 26 one I'm dropping down my live net with the letter N 
is throw it in the live head and you see here it's almost full I'm going to sell it right away it gives also a good amount of experience of course go to the fish market it gives you nine almost thousand uh, coins put one sell it and just go back again to the rivers and empty room Then you just uh, do the same uh, like uh, before. Um, just uh, try to find the catfish which is uh, fit, uh, uh, which is uh, possible to get into the landing in the fishing net and the landing net. Uh, lower down, of course, 100% to 90. Lower down the tension of the line with six times the page down button. And I go again here and then using the sonar so this is how you do it uh, you know what uh, understand I, uh, I mean what I'm doing here just want to go to level 20 this goes very fast uh, it just takes time now and when 20 uh, I can show you with the 100 kilograms uh, net how to catch the big ones so enjoy it and I hope you like the video bye bye thank you for watching